This image is one of the most iconic of all Hubble images. Images of the universe like we have never seen before. Since humanity's monumental moon landing, NASA's top-tier team of scientists, astronomers, and innovators has engineered groundbreaking spacecraft traveling on galaxy-wide voyages that peel back the layers of cosmic mysteries. Recently, they've shared a startling image from the Hubble Space Telescope, sparking questions about our cosmic destiny. This image, captured by the telescope's powerful lens, offers a glimpse into the fascinating depths of space. Join us as we delve into the intrigue surrounding this new snapshot from the Hubble Space Telescope, expanding our knowledge of the cosmos, the unbelievable city among the stars. One day, an exciting picture that people said came from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope started to appear again. This happened on December 26, 1994. On that day, in NASA's office in the United States, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes because of the surprising images that the Hubble telescope sent back. When they looked closer at one of the images, it showed something unbelievable. A big, white city floating in space. The NASA team was completely surprised and didn't know how to react when the pictures from the Hubble suddenly became available for everyone to see on the Internet. Usually, these kinds of pictures are only seen by experts in special space science rooms. But now, anyone in the world could look at them. Very quickly, these pictures started to spread all over the internet. To try and keep things calm, the US government decided to keep these images a secret from the general public. They wanted to stop people from getting too worried or excited, but they were too slow. A photographer who was at Ellington Airfield had already taken pictures of the image and was showing it to people. This image had an amazing view of space with towers, pillars, caves, and other things that looked like buildings made by people. In one of these pictures, there was a part that looked all blurry. Ken Wilson, who teaches at the University of Florida, took a closer look at this blurry spot using a small magnifying glass. He wanted to understand it better. As he looked, he noticed that the blurry spot was a weird shape. It was clear that there was no mistake or problem when the picture was sent from the Hubble telescope to Earth. The NASA experts were sure that the strange look of the picture was not because of any mistake with the telescope's lenses. So, after a quick meeting, the people at NASA decided to take a new picture of the space where the strange thing was found. They set up the Hubble telescope with the very best settings and pointed it exactly at the part of space where the unusual city seemed to be. The telescope quickly took a new picture, and right away, this picture was shown on a huge screen in the lab. Everyone there, all the scientists, stopped what they were doing and looked at the screen. The part of the picture that was once blurry and hard to see was now clear. What they saw made them feel a mix of surprise and unease. The picture showed something that shone by itself, like a source of light, but it also looked like a city. This city wasn't like the ones we see on Earth. It was more like the cities you read about in science fiction stories or see in movies about the future, with tall, shining buildings and lots of lights that make you think of another world. This huge city seemed to stretch forever, reaching out into the space far away, covering an area even bigger than we can imagine. People started calling this place the City of God. Many thought this might be what heaven looks like. One person from NASA even said that perhaps this city was where people's spirits go after they die. But honestly, these ideas sound pretty out there, don't they? It seems more like they're telling us tales from a book of myths than real science. But the scientists kept looking at the pictures from the Hubble telescope and noticed more things. This city in space wasn't just floating there, it was moving. And it wasn't moving randomly, it was moving in a way that matched the movements of the galaxies around it. This movement seemed to follow the same rules that scientists talk about when they explain the Big Bang Theory, which says how the universe started and expanded. So, this city, as impossible as it seems, was acting like it was part of the universe, obeying the same natural laws that everything else in the cosmos follows. But wait. There's more to this story that makes it even more interesting. The scientists found out something special about the way the city moves. Think of watching a 3D map of the distant universe on a huge screen. It seemed like it wasn't the universe moving away from us. Instead, it was as if the Earth was moving away from the city, 
like this city was at the center of everything. They even made a computer model to show how other galaxies seemed to be moving away from this city. The deeper they looked into it, the more the city seemed full of secrets and wonders. It's like a giant cosmic puzzle, and every piece they find shows them something new about how the universe works. This makes everyone think bigger, wondering what else is out there, far beyond what we can see from our little spot in the universe. But there's a twist in the story. Some people say NASA tried to keep this amazing picture a secret from everyone. Why they might want to do that is a big question. People are really curious about why someone would want to hide such an amazing view of space. They think maybe NASA was worried that showing this picture to everyone all at once might make people all over the world scared or confused. This idea seems a bit hard to understand, like there's something big we're not being told. These amazing pictures that could change how we see everything were kept hidden away from just about everyone. Next, we dive deeper into a mystery from space, where things aren't always what they seem, shaking up our ideas about the stars, the heavenly bodies beyond our sky. When you look very carefully at the picture, you can see a lot of small, detailed parts that make you think twice about whether it's just natural stuff you're seeing. You can make out shapes that look like tall buildings, big round structures, and there's even something that looks a lot like a tower you'd find in a castle. It's almost as if the photo is showing us a city in outer space that's laid out in a strange and unusual way. This makes us wonder if this place actually formed all by itself or if something else is going on here. In the midst of these buildings, there were beings that looked just like angels. Yes, you read that right, angels. At the beginning, the scientists were pretty sure they had stumbled upon a new group of stars because the colors in the image were so vivid and intense but it didn't take long for them to realize that what they were actually seeing looked more like living beings. According to what NASA has said, these angel-like figures are a striking shade of orange. There have been reports that a group of these angels was seen flying together, and they got caught on camera near what's known as the NGC 3532 star cluster, which has been around for three billion years. Initially, the experts thought the weird signals they were picking up were just due to some expected glitches with the super expensive $1.5 billion Hubble Space Telescope. But after they got a better look, what they saw was astonishing. These angel-like creatures were each about 50 feet tall with enormous wings, and they were surrounded by a sort of foggy halo. A person who works on space stuff mentioned they had wings that could span as wide as an airplane. Their faces were all round and looked really calm. They appeared to be extremely happy to have their picture taken by the Hubble telescope, sharing smiles with each other as though they were in on some wonderful cosmic joke. The interesting thing is, this isn't the first time that someone said they've spotted angels out in space. A scientist from Russia who moved to the United States back in 1985 has shared stories about how the Soviet astronauts ran into a similar group of joyful, glowing angels during their space mission on the Soyuz spacecraft years before. He believes that there might be millions more angels out there in space. The people running the Hubble telescope are planning to keep it going, and it seems like the governments of both the United States and the former Soviet Union might be getting ready to share some incredible news that could prove once and for all that angels are real and they're keeping an eye on us from up above. Adding to the mystery, this fascinating image was shared with everyone just one day after Christmas in 1994. This timing really gets you thinking. Why show this picture right after Christmas, a time when everyone is full of good feelings and thinking about deep, important things? Christmas is known as a time filled with warmth, caring, and deep thoughts. People celebrate in big, joyful ways, hang out with their family and friends, and think about big ideas like love, hope, and being kind to others. This is a time when folks are more open than usual to believing in amazing things, things that can't always be explained, things from beyond our world. So when this picture was shown right after Christmas, it seemed like it was perfectly planned to grab everyone's attention. After Christmas, people are still thinking about all those big, deep thoughts. They're more open to stories about mysterious and wonderful things from the stars. 
This could make a story like the one about this image spread super fast, catching everyone's attention. The timing seems too perfect, like it was chosen to make the biggest splash by connecting with all those Christmas feelings. Now, whether the things shown in this image are real or just made up, we can't say for sure. But there's one thing we do know. There have been stories for a long time, years and years, about people saying NASA has found something out there that proves something religious. Ever since scientists started really exploring space and the universe, there have been tales about finding signs of something bigger out there, something divine. Let's talk about another example from 2016. There was this picture going around the internet that people said showed the gates of heaven, right in the middle of a star cloud. The story attached to the picture said that scientists were completely thrown off by what they saw. But actually, that story wasn't true at all. The picture wasn't a real photo from space. It was actually a piece of artwork made by a guy named Adam Ferris. He's an artist who takes real space photos from the Hubble Space Telescope and changes them using a technique called pixel sorting. He starts with a real space photo. For this one, he used a picture of the Swan Nebula, and then he rearranges the bits of the image. The result looked like what some people called the gates of heaven. But Ferris never said his artwork was a real space photo. Later on, other people took his art and added the heaven story to it, making it seem like something it wasn't. Keep going on our space trip as we look closer at a story from the stars that has everyone talking and guessing. The controversial Cosmic City, waiting for humankind. In a similar vein, there was a story about an image supposedly showing heaven that was first shared by a publication called Weekly World News under the headline, Heaven Photographed by Hubble Telescope. This piece first came out in the tabloid many years ago and was shared again on the internet in 2009. Now, you might know Weekly World News as that paper you see by the checkout at the grocery store, famous for wild stories about creatures that are part bat, part human, or articles that make you wonder if maybe, just maybe, we all came from space aliens. Despite its usual flair for the fantastic, this particular story about heaven captured a lot of people's attention. The basis for this tale is pretty shaky. It starts off with some real events, like the fact that the Hubble Space Telescope got fixed a while back. This fix was a big deal because it corrected a problem with the telescope's mirror, allowing it to take super clear pictures of space for the first time. The story then takes a giant leap. It claims that after this fix, astronomers used the Hubble to look all the way to the edge of space. And there, they supposedly saw a glowing city floating among the stars. The picture that went along with the story is just as out there. It's all in black and white and shows what looks to be either a far-off city or maybe a big house on a hill, all under a night sky full of stars. The image tries to pull you in even more with these rays of light shooting out from the city in all kinds of strange directions. These light beams are supposed to make the city look more divine or heavenly. However, a lot of folks pointed out that this detail actually makes the picture seem even less real. They say the light rays are a dead giveaway that the image isn't what it claims to be. And they have a point, especially when you compare this picture to actual photos from space telescopes like Hubble or the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. In real space pictures, when you see bright things like stars, they often have these lines of light coming out from them, but they look a certain way because of the way the telescopes are built. These lines, or spikes of light, are known as diffraction spikes, and they're a common thing in astronomy pictures, especially ones taken with telescopes that use mirrors to see far into space. What's interesting is that the patterns of these spikes can be different depending on which telescope took the photo. For example, the spikes you see in pictures from the Hubble might not look the same as the ones from the JWST. That's because each telescope has its own unique design and way of capturing light from distant objects like stars. So when people who really know their space stuff looked at this supposed picture of heaven, they could tell something was off just by how those light spikes were arranged. When light hits the big mirror at the front of a telescope, it can get a little warped or bent because of the mirror's shape and the metal pieces holding it in place. If we're looking at big blurry things in space, this warping doesn't really mess up the picture too much and we barely notice it. 
But when we point the telescope at really bright points like stars, these warps turn into sharp lines shooting out from the star in the photo. These lines, called diffraction spikes, are just quirks of how the telescope is built. They don't actually tell us anything about the star itself, but they do have a neat trick. By looking at the pattern of these lines, you can tell which telescope took the picture. Now, this bit of science starts to poke holes in the whole story about the picture that's supposed to show heaven. The picture has a bunch of these spiky lines, almost a dozen of them. This doesn't directly say the story about NASA finding heaven is false or that the picture isn't of something heavenly, but it does make you wonder if the image being passed around is really from NASA or if it's something else entirely. Imagine if the picture in that news story really did come from space. If that were true and we could prove it, then almost all doubts about whether it shows the New Jerusalem or some other heavenly city would vanish. The guy named Dr. Masson, who supposedly leaked the photo from NASA, said they were aiming at a bunch of stars when they got the shot. It might take a photography expert to confirm if the photo is legit, but even just looking closely at it, you can see that the supposed city is all surrounded by stars, suggesting it could be set in space. But here's where it gets tricky. The only ones who really know if this photo is from space are Dr. Masson, the folks at Weekly World News who said they got it, and the NASA scientists who were supposed to have taken it. Since no one has managed to chat with any of these people, figuring out if the photo is a real space shot is tough. All right, let's talk about the timing. The Hubble Space Telescope did indeed go through some fixes back in 1993. Weekly World News reported that these fixes were all done by the middle of December that year. They said the first pictures after the fix were sent back to Earth on December 26, 1993. This fits with bits and pieces from other places saying the repairs wrapped up on December 9th. The official Hubble site tells us that NASA showed off these new pictures on January 13th, 1994. So the pictures had to be sent to Earth sometime between December 9th, 1993, when the fixes were done, and January 13th, 1994, when everyone got to see them. The date Weekly World News threw out there, December 9th, falls right in this window, so it's not outside the realm of possibility. Now, Weekly World News first talked about these so-called heavenly images on February 8th, 1994, and then brought it up again on September 10th, 2009. There's nothing in the dates themselves that directly clashes with what we know from other sources. So, while the story they're telling might sound way out there, the timeline they give isn't totally off base with the real-world timeline of Hubble's repairs and the release of its photos. Now, let's link past space missions to today's space puzzles, showing how what we find up there changes what we think down here. Hubble scope finally sees clearly. Back on December 2nd, 1993, a big spaceship called the Space Shuttle Endeavour zoomed off into space with seven astronauts. They had a huge job ahead. They were going to fix the Hubble Space Telescope. They had to do spacewalks, which are like going outside for a walk, but in space. And they did this for five whole days. They swapped out a part of the telescope called the High Speed Photometer for something called CoStar. They also switched the old camera for a new and better one called WWFPC2. And they didn't stop there. They also changed solar panels, fixed fuse plugs, and replaced a bunch of other bits and pieces. By December 9th, their big fix-it job was done. Then, on January 13th, 1994, NASA showed everyone the first set of photos taken by the now-fixed Hubble. And wow, were they stunning. The pictures were super clear and detailed. It was like Hubble had gotten a new pair of glasses and could now see the universe in sharp focus. This was the moment when Hubble really started to live up to all the hype and hope people had for it. Now let's shift gears and talk about something really cool that Hubble saw. Picture yourself staring out into the deep, vast space and finding, instead of just plain old stars, strange ladder-like patterns swirling around a dimming star. This is a real thing that Hubble found, and it kind of makes us think about that legendary city of God in space. Even though we haven't actually found the mythical stairway to heaven, 
the sight of these ladder shapes around the star brings up lots of questions and feels a bit like uncovering a cosmic mystery. There's this thing out in space called the Red Rectangle Nebula, also known by its less catchy name, HD 44179. It's got this nickname because when you look at it with regular telescopes from Earth, it appears as a red, rectangular shape. But Hubble, with its super sharp eyes, has shown us so much more about this nebula that we couldn't see before, all thanks to its special location above the Earth's blurry atmosphere. The red rectangle has turned out to be a real head-scratcher, much like the intricate and puzzling details we've heard about in the so-called City of God. This red rectangle nebula is filled with all kinds of amazing things. It has these patterns that look like steps, or maybe even a spider's web. These aren't just for show, they are actually made up of gas, shooting out from the star in a really organized way. Imagine a bunch of wine glasses, all stacked inside each other, but instead of wine, they are overflowing with gas. That's kind of what we're looking at here. Hubble's peek into this nebula has thrown us some curveballs about how the universe does its thing, much like the baffling complex details in the supposed celestial city. The red rectangle nebula, which got its name because of how it looks like a red boxy shape from here on Earth, has thrown a curveball our way. Turns out it's not really a rectangle at all, but more of an X shape. This is a big surprise and kind of shakes up some of the ideas we had about how space stuff works. It's kind of like that city of God people talk about, both have shapes and patterns that aren't what we expected at all. They make everyone, especially scientists, sit up and start questioning what they thought they knew about space and all its mysteries. Just like the mysterious city, the center of the red rectangle is a star, but this one is getting old and starting to lose its outer bits. This process forms a unique shape that looks like two cones touching at their tips. Every now and then, the star throws off rings of gas and dust, which is sort of like the strange happenings people describe in the City of God. It's like the star and the city are both sending us hints that all these cosmic events might be linked together somehow. It really drives home the point that space is packed with incredible things that we're just starting to find out about. These amazing finds from the bizarre ladder patterns around star HD 44179 to the tales of a heavenly city show just how wild and unexpected the universe can be. The detailed images we get from super advanced telescopes are like invitations to go deeper into space, pushing us to question our old views and dig into the secrets sprawled across the endless cosmic landscape. The real magic of this story, whether it ties back to myths of heaven or not, lies in our undying fascination with what's out there in space, way beyond our own galaxy. This curiosity is sparked and fed by the incredible views provided by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now you might be wondering, how does this amazing tool even do its job? Floating high above Earth's atmosphere, Hubble sits in a sweet spot where it can take pictures without dealing with the blurriness caused by the air around our planet. It whips around Earth super fast, making a full loop every 97 minutes or so. Hubble has a special job. It collects light from stars and other space objects to make super sharp images and gather all sorts of detailed information. Being above the atmosphere means it can avoid the flickering or twinkling we see when we look at stars from the ground, giving us a much clearer picture of what's out there. Even though Hubble isn't the biggest telescope out there, it's got a mirror that's 7.8 feet across which is pretty small compared to some giant ones on the ground, it still does an incredible job. This is all thanks to its smart design and the high-tech gadgets it packs. Scientists all over the planet would love to use Hubble for their own space studies. There's so much demand for Hubble time that they have to be really careful about scheduling every single minute of its day to make sure they get the most out of it. At the heart of what makes Hubble so special are its scientific tools. These are split into two main types. Some are for taking amazing pictures and others are for splitting up the light from stars and galaxies to learn what they're made of, like seeing all the different colors in a rainbow. Because Hubble is way up above the atmosphere, it can catch types of light like infrared and ultraviolet that we can't see from down here because the air blocks them. This unique spot in space lets Hubble give us a peek at things no ground-based telescope can, opening up new windows to the mysteries of the universe. 
let's now explore the amazing tools and teamwork that help us see the secrets of space and keep asking big questions. New space photos sent from the galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope is like a high-tech space detective with a toolbox filled with special gadgets. Each tool, like the ACS, Advanced Camera for Surveys, and NICMOS, Near Infrared Camera and Multi-Object Spectrograph, has a special job, from looking at the light we can see with our eyes to catching invisible infrared light. But Hubble doesn't work alone. It's like a part of a big, complex machine. It has solar panels that turn sunlight into power, and it uses things called gyroscopes, star trackers, and reaction wheels to stay perfectly still and pointed right at the stars or galaxies it's studying. This ability to stay completely still lets Hubble take super clear and detailed pictures, sometimes staring at the same spot for hours or days without moving. But getting the information from Hubble back to Earth is a whole adventure by itself. It's not just about snapping photos, it's about sending them on a long journey home. Hubble first sends its discoveries to a special satellite far above Earth. Then, this satellite beams the information down to a place called White Sands in New Mexico, USA. But the journey doesn't end there. The data travels even further, crossing oceans to end up in Munich, Germany, where it's kept safe in a huge archive for scientists all over the world to study. What's really amazing about Hubble isn't just the science. It's how countries work together to make it happen. It's a team effort between NASA in the United States and the European Space Agency, ESA, in Europe. This partnership is about more than just sharing tools and data. It's about people from different countries working together, sharing ideas and discoveries. Scientists from Europe even get to use Hubble for their own projects, adding their findings to the huge mix of space knowledge we've gathered. The Hubble Space Telescope is really more than just a piece of equipment floating in space. It's a symbol of human curiosity and cooperation. Its advanced technology and the teamwork behind it have changed how we see the universe, teaching us more than we ever knew before. As we keep exploring space, Hubble shows us how much more there is to learn, lighting up the dark corners of the universe bit by bit. Since Hubble started its space journey in 1990, it's been like a window to the wonders of the universe. But it does so much more than just take pretty space pictures. It comes with a whole set of tools that let it catch all different kinds of light, from the kind we can see to the kind that's invisible to us. This makes Hubble an incredibly important tool for astronomers, giving them a peek into the farthest corners of space. This teamwork between American and European scientists puts Hubble in a special spot high above the Earth, where it can see things without the blurring effects of our planet's atmosphere. This clear view lets Hubble look at everything from tiny space rocks bumping into each other in our own backyard to ancient galaxies forming stars when the universe was just a baby. Thanks to Hubble, we've learned a ton about how galaxies, stars and planets come to be and how they change over time. Now, as Hubble moves through its third decade in space, it's busier than ever. It has looked at over a million different things in space, leading to more than 21,000 scientific studies. These studies help fill the pages of new astronomy books constantly updating what we know about space. Hubble's work is far from over. It keeps adding pieces to the puzzle of the universe, sometimes giving answers, sometimes making us ask even more questions. Through the stories and pictures Hubble has shared, we get to see parts of space we never dreamed of. Picking out just a few stories from all of Hubble's adventures was tough because there are so many but each one gives us a hint of its biggest discoveries and shows off what it can do. As Hubble keeps on looking out into the vastness of space, we can only guess what new secrets it will uncover, helping us understand our place in this huge, mysterious universe even better.
Could NASA's latest discovery be a mere cosmic anomaly? Or is it a revelation that redefines our place in the universe? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.